how to install and configure the Advanced Portal Designer web service. Hey, I'm Eric, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the second part of the Advanced Portal Designer app. The first part it is inside Business Central. The second part is running on a web server, either hosted in the cloud or running on your own metal or wherever. Uh, in, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run it as, as an Azure app service. Um, so you might as well get started. Here is the Advanced Portal Designer app already installed inside Business Central. I have loaded the uh, the demo uh, website from a config package. And um, I have also created a app registration for Business Central uh, that the web server can use to log into Business Central with. Uh, it's this top one. And yeah, I've given it a lot of permissions. Um, the advanced portal designer permissions, AL compiler permissions, and full access and lo login. Um, full access is not really needed. You should create a custom permission set that only covers the areas that your portal is using. Uh, there's no reason to give more permissions than it, that's what needed. But in this demo, I have just given it the whole thing. So those are the, the prerequisites that are needed in order for the portal to actually work. Um, so with that, I can go to the setup page here and we have the web server configuration part. And um, I can see that there's a web server resource uh, link here. So I click on this. This will take me to um, a page on, uh, uh, on GitHub where there is a um, release file, release of the Advanced Portal uh, Designer uh, web app, and there's a zip file, so I'll download the zip file. We're gonna use the zip file uh, in, in a minute. Then I go to Azure, find my web services, create a new, create a web app, and I will put this into my Advanced Portal Designer group. I will call this APD Demo 2, and no weird unique names. We need to run this as a .NET 8. So this is a .NET 8 application. Uh, so you have to select .NET 8. Uh, I'm in Windows. I'm in Canada. We're running this as a free, uh, on the free pricing tier. There's no, um, we're not using, right now in this demo, I'm not using any of the, the things that you get in the, by going away from the free one. So the free one is a perfect uh, valid uh, test platform here. I create this thing. There we go. So after we have created, we need to populate uh, the website with the content of the zip file. There's many different way, ways you can do this. You can also go um, uh, to the GitHub page again which is actually a public repo of all the files that are needed to uh, run the web app. So you, if you would rather have this into, your, into a pipeline, a release pipeline and so on, you can grab uh, this repo, you can create a fork, you can, um, you can, you can clone it. Uh, you got all, all, all options available. Our deployment is complete, so we can go to the resource. And I wanna check if we have something that is uh, useful here. Your app is running and I'm waiting for your content. Perfect. So I will use the, the zip file and there's an easy way to do this is by going to advanced tools and click go. And in here, the Kudo Plus environment, I'm just gonna grab the, the console. So we get the files uh, on the site. Uh, so I will open the site folder. I'll open the the, uh, the www root folder. This is hosting start and hosting start is what gives us this, uh, this page. So I'll find my, my download a zip file and I'll drag it here. It gets uploaded 
and unzipped into the um, into the www root folder. You see, there's another folder with the same name. This is where you can put static content, uh, JavaScript, style sheets, uh, pages, um, whatever static content. All the other files, DLLs, and so on, are placed in the root of this one. So now, if we go to this, we will get something HTTP, HTTP error 500 the site is not working which there's a good reason for so I'll go back to the web app and then I'll go to settings here and what we need to do now is that we need to add some in environment var variables these can also be placed in a in a JSON file on the site if we prefer to run that way I will um, I will I'll just put them in here then we can then we can have a conversation about this um, so I'll put in a key called service root capital R so this is where the 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 service lives so um, in this case we're gonna go with the slash portal so everything that is ADP demo 2 slash portal that is serviced by the advanced portal design. Anything that slash not portal is served out of the www root folder. Um, so we have created that. Then I will add um, my, uh, my server URL. And if I go back into Business Central, we can see that the setup page is nice enough to tell us what that needs to be. So I Grab that and paste it in here. Uh, that looks fine. And now I'm just going to do a power move and put my tenant ID into the clipboard. Because then let's add tenant ID, which I just grabbed. That's OK. So we got server URL, we got service root, we got tenant ID. Um, then we need to add the um, the app registration so uh, first we have a client ID client ID is matching the um, the thing we have here so the f8 thing I'll go back here and I think I have somewhere I can copy that from right here so that's the f8 I'll add that then off screen I'll grab a client secret that goes with it. So we will add client secret. I'll paste that in. Uh, and at the time you watch this video, this app registration has been deleted again. So uh, I'm not uh, telling you any of any real secrets here. Um, but we're not quite done yet. So we got client ID, client secret, server URL, service root, and tenant ID. Um, now we need to add one that says authentication. And this one can have two values. And we're going to go with the value called service to service uh, because that's the authentication method we have to use with the uh, app registration. Um, if you're running all this in local thing, you can also do basic and there are two setting basic user and basic password that we can apply if you want to do basic authentication against a uh, against a docker image or stuff like that um, and now we are almost done we need two more one is called the cookie prefix and I'll just do ADP demo 2 here um, Mostly, if this is for very advanced settings, where if you've got multiple uh, apps running in the same bigger setup, so we can control which which cookies belongs to to what app. So you uh, and the the second part is that now if you are debugging uh, web calls at some point, uh, you can clearly see that this is the cookie that belongs to to this site. The very last thing we're gonna do right now is to add a one call developer mode. 
and said that's true. So if we do get arrows uh, on, on the website, instead of just getting this, we will actually get an explanation of what, what is going on. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, there's a bunch. So I remember this is this is a weird setup on uh, on uh, on Azure that you confirm each one and then you have to say apply at the end. Confirm now the app um, is restarting. So we can go here and we hit a five. And we are connected to our application. Um, so that's how you configure um, the uh, the web part uh, of the advanced poll designer. Um, let let's let's just uh, show you one thing before we I stop the video. So I go into client secret and then I add an egg. Oh, what do I do here? I clearly close this one again because I think I screwed up. Um, I'll add an X at the end. So now we have a wrong client secret. I confirm, use the app needs to restart. We go back here, we hit a five. Uh, we hit control of five, the service is unavailable because it's reloading now. And now we got an error. So we can see there's something there's something going on. It clearly doesn't like there's something wrong. Uh, if I go back here and I change the developer mode to false, then we will just get a an error happen and, and no no details. So so that's the, that's the purpose of the developer mode. I've removed my my X again. And we can go back here and hit a five. We still get the error. We still get the error because now the service is restarting. So now we get probably get the unavailable. No, we just get in that it's it's working now. That's how you install the uh, the web app part of Advanced Poll Designer. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching.